Hey guys, Jay here. Quick update. Sakura D4 drift car. Picked it up on trade off a of Facebook marketplace. It's bone stock as far as I can tell, minus a battery up like mounting bracket in the back. Um, I put this body on it. I uh, got it from a friend of mine off of another car I purchased. It's a pretty nice body. It fits pretty well. <clears throat> thinking I have uh, some of these wheel, what do you call them, fender, make it a little wider, probably stick those on, cover up the wheels a little bit more, but uh, for now this is how the car sits, I've been spending a lot of time testing and tuning, the purpose of this video is to share how I got the car to function the way it functioned. And then I'll also share some running video at the end so you can actually see it performing. Um, I'm new to drifting. I will probably call parts <laughs> the wrong thing as I continue to learn. I was fortunate enough to get an instruction manual with this car, which I uh, have been tearing into, but took a lot of knowledge and um, advice from other drivers. And then I've spent uh, just a ton of time on my little test course at home just burning laps seeing what works but this is what's worked for me based on the tracks i run on which are primarily polished concrete so um i'll just break it down front to back and keep it simple um first thing i started off with was i lengthened the front a arms um, to as long as they could there's shims inside in the front and the rear I don't know the length of the shim but I put them all into the rear and it shoves the front tires forward so it extends the wheelbase I also uh, change the caster you change the caster by taking this little pin in here and um, there's a little spacer right there and you can slide this I don't know what you call this top a top control arm you can slide that back and forth and what that does it changes the pitch of the tire back and forth now they say oh, at least if you read the advice they say you want i don't know you want the caster to be towards the steering angle like i guess with the steering angle this is the opposite this is going more center to the steering down so it's pushing in more it seemed to work better for me. I don't know if that's the proper way. If you know of a better way, please share in the comments. But it really smoothed the car out from having a, a vicious turn, um, a vicious turn in or slide out, I guess you could say. Uh, what was happening is when the car was locking out with the suspension, it actually would dip in and lock. And to accommodate for that, um, I pushed everything forward and it helped to uh, use the suspension and the way this front end is set up. It's, it's way different than what I'm used to, even from my short course days, but it moves a lot. Um, but anyways, it allowed me to accomplish a tremendous amount of steering angle too for stock, running complete stock steering setup, which I've seen on other videos is what guys generally do first on these cars. I also am running on the outer, upper, what do you call this, the front C hub or, you know, front control hub or whatever. It's running, you can see my um, hubs, or I'm sorry, my turnbuckles are all fairly tight. I'm running probably a negative, somewhere in the negative six to negative eight to maybe negative 10 toe to really get that, really get that wheel angle. Um, suspension in the front is very soft. Um, I think this is shock stock or like stock shock oil. <laughs> I should probably change that out. But um, also, uh, as far as uh, uh, the servo, I also changed this had this servo horn on it with two different settings, a lower and an upper. I put it to the upper and extended this arm, and that also pushed everything uh allowed for much much greater steering angle um
Other changes I made was um, put the ESC in the back. This car seems to perform better with the weight on the back. I don't, haven't had it on like a waist scale or anything. I don't know, you know, what the difference is from front to rear. Hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. But for now, it's definitely heavy in the rear for sure. Um, all the weight is primarily in the rear. Um, put in some MST electronics. Had these from my MST RMX 2.0. This gyro works really good in here, but one thing I found out, you'll notice in the video of the car, the gyro will shake the tires a little bit. It doesn't offset the car at all. It's still very smooth, but I think it's from riding on this center support brace. It really flexes, and I'm assuming as the car is transitioning over, you know, con you know concrete gaps or whatever, it's jarring a little bit, but it doesn't offset the car. Um... As far as the rear setup is concerned, I'm running all the way out on the rear hubs. Suspension is pushed all the way out in the top and on the bottom. Um, and I'm running really soft uh, in the rear. I think this is, again, <laughs> stock shock oil. It's probably brown in there, burnt out for all I know. I should probably change it out. But for now, it seems to sit pretty well. Got a little pickup, not too much. When I put the body and the battery in it, it's a little bit better. Uh, stock gearing, stock belt system. I find this belt is super quiet. Um, I know nothing about these belt systems. I see guys have changed them out to gear systems. I'd really like to do that at some point. It's probably a little more dependable. But this belt system is pretty interesting. Anyways, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it next. Um, I'm kind of just driving it to see uh, what I want to change. Uh, but this is the current progress, and um, I'll uh, show you guys some running video. Thanks for watching.